Okay. Now we all know a straight line is a, the equation of a straight line is in the form of y equals to m times x plus c. Okay, where m and the, m and c are constant. Okay. Actually, the constant m means gradient. Gradient. It means the slope of uh, the slope of a graph of the straight line. For example, if I have a graph y equals to x plus one, okay, and I draw the graph like this. Okay, y equals to x plus 1. The gradient of this graph, the gradient is 1 because in, the, in this graph m is, uh, is y equals to 1 times x plus 1. Uh, m is 1, the gradient is 1. It means when the gradient is 1, it means uh, for every unit the graph moves in the horizontal direction it will also go up one unit for instance yeah, that's what it what the uh, gradient means just for one for every unit increased in x direction uh, well uh, the y value increased by one okay a Let's okay. So if the gradient is two, means for every one unit increased in x direction, uh, the graph will increase two units in y direction. So the the higher uh, the greater uh, the number m is, the higher the gradient. So it's most uh, there's the straight line is more stiff. I do some examples here. Okay, if I draw a graph like this, okay, I draw the graph somewhere like this. This is y equals to x. The gradient in this graph is one. Then. If I if I draw an other graph y equals two x, it would it has a, a gradient of two which is more stiffer than uh, y equals two x. So I just draw an other graph. This is what it would look like. Uh, looks like the higher the number here, the more stiff it is. Okay, to determine the exact number of the gradient, uh, you have to you have to get two points on a graph, and uh, well, basically, gradient is defined as the rise over wrong. For instance, if I have a graph for instance, if I have a graph somewhere around there, okay, that's your x, that's your y, and uh, um, at this point of the graph, Say point A is four and uh, eight. Okay, let's say it is four and eight, and the origin is zero and zero. Also, at well, if I find other point, it will be minus two and four. Okay. If I try to find the gradient of this graph, this 
there is two ways to do it. Just look at uh, the formula okay. from the origin upwards. So gradient, the graph actually goes from zero, zero the coordinate zero zero to four and eight. It means it moved four units horizontally and eight units vertically up. So the rise is so the m is rise over round. It raised eight units up and the four units horizontally to the positive direction. So the gradient is two. So I have so the graph will be y equals to 2x okay so yep sorry about that I just can't so I cross it out okay so the graph will be y equals to 2x y equals to 2x okay um, this is one way to determine the gradient of the graph and plus c well because it goes through the origin, when x is 0, y will be 0, and it fits. Say, say in this graph is 0. Okay. Uh, this, this is one way to do it. The other way to do it is, okay, just write down there. The other way to do it is to look at this point. So on the straight line, there are I'll just pick any two points I pick uh, coordinate 4 and 8 and minus 2 and 4 coordinate 4 and 8 and minus 2 and uh, minus 4 okay sorry it should be a minus sign there okay it's a minus 4 okay the gradient is rise over wrong. So from these two coordinate, basically we can put gradient. Rise is the horizontal, the distance in horizontal, uh, well, the vertical distance between these two points. And the wrong is basically the horizontal dis distance between these two points. So the vertical distance is using the well any points one points minus the other points so basically is eight minus minus uh, four that's your vertical distance between these two points point a and point b okay you have to the distance yep you have to use one minus the other and the horizontal distance is 4 minus minus 2 4 minus minus 2 okay and now we have well we have 12 and uh, divided by 6 which is 2 so you have your m your gradient your gradient of this graph is 2 okay this is what does this number means it means in this graph for every one unit moved in x direction, the graph moved two units up. Okay, this is what does gradient mean? The gradient of the graph is two. Okay, let's do some more practice on this kind of problem. Okay.